So this is Elizabeth Frink, so, uh, or, you know, this isn't Elizabeth Frink, obviously, but uh, it's quite a fragile thing. It's a plaster sculpture made to look as if it's a, a bronze. And what Elizabeth Frink was thinking, much like lots of artists think, they think that, you know, there's something really powerful about the human being, you know, that goes back to thinking about Rodin. I don't know if I can really talk about this without bursting into tears. And George Fullard had come back from fighting in the Battle of Monte Cassino. You can see there's a tank, and this is a really profound thing. Crazily mad emotional story. Art is about hope, life is about destruction. How do you construct these things? How do you then put it back together? What I do with a lot of my work is I do, I just walk around skips in East London, where I live. I pull out bits and pieces. All of these things, apart from the radio, have come out of a skip. This is General Gordon. I am on a train to Leeds to look at the painting by William Joy of General Gordon at Khartoum. I have forgotten was there a past. Personally, I really like this uh, Pizarro painting of South London, which is the other half of my childhood. Georgie Hopton, what a powerful graphic sense. Sarah Lucas and Tracy Emin had this event where you could go and get injured. And then you would walk to this other table, which was Sarah Statton and Georgie Hopton, and they would uh, repair you and heal you. <laughs> Keep your eyes out for Georgie Hopton because he's a really powerful and interesting artist. To celebrate Henry Moore, we're going to have a group hug. Take old Flo. Old Flo would say if she were here. I'm Stephanie Thank you.